Hello, hello, hello. The new Water Ancient event has now begun in DML. So this will be a month-long ancient event as we have seen before. So we will go through all the things that you can do in this event at the moment, what events to expect and how you can get some bonus ancient tickets. And when you open up the game, I got this here that says get water stones every day plus unlock bonus rewards. So this is trying to get you to buy the water stone generator which we will look at in a bit but this means that the collection event has now begun so in this we have the homala dragon possible to be collected if you collect the other dragons as part of the collection so to get homala for example which is one of the ancients in this event an ancient water and light dragon you'd need to get the brand new yellow crown dragon the brand new spine fin dragon You'd also need to get the Bromelia Dragon, and you'd also need the Deep Light Dragon. And you can see, you can get the Deep Light from the Dragon Board, you can get Bromelia from Ancient Chess, so Yellow Crown from the Dragon Board, and the Spine Fin from the Dragon Board as well. And of course, collecting Hamala and a couple of the other Ancients gives you the chance to get the Mighty Bahagia Dragon, which is the major event dragon for this Ancient Water event. The Behajir dragon, of course, being an ancient, divine, and water dragon. And it would be an exception dragon at that. We also have a mini collection event for the Hornbill dragon, where if you get the Spine Fin, Gazelle, and Pipe dragons, you can get him. So there's a lot of mini collection events ongoing at the moment. So, main thing I'm going to say is that we also have the Bottomless Dungeon, where you can get divine tickets in every single chest that you open up. So just to confirm that this is actually happening, for example, I've done a couple of dungeon runs, you open up this chest and then I get four ancient tickets out of that. That felt pretty good. Four ancient tickets out of a red chest. Hell yes, hell yes. And then another five out of this one. So the dungeon is gonna be a great way this week of getting bonus divine tickets, not divine tickets, ancient tickets. Have I been saying divine tickets this whole time? Probably. But either way, you should definitely be getting on that dungeon grind because it is going to help you out with getting these bonus ancient tickets a ton. And so if you've never played these events before, you might be like, well, why do we need ancient tickets? Well, you need the ancient tickets because the ancient tickets are the way that you're going to open ancient chests and get some of those bonus dragons and potentially get an ancient. So to get you started in the Origin of Water event, please accept this gift so that you can get a head start on your journey to collect all the new dragons. So there we go, they've given us another 10 tickets right there. And the ancient chest that we're looking to open up is this one here. So, in this ancient chest we have the ancient Oira dragon, who is the ancient out of the chest. We have the legendary Tropic dragon, which is a legendary water and earth dragon, pretty cute. Then we have the garden dragon. And then we've got that brand new Bromelia epic in here as well. So opening up these chests will give you chances of getting pieces for each of these dragons. You can get some cool decorations and VIP tickets. So out of this chest, for example, it shows us that for every 100 ancient chests that you open, you should expect 28 ancient dragon pieces. So not many. So you're going to have to open up hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of chests to get 500 pieces of Oira, which I don't think is possible unless you get an insanely high drop. But anyway, we have that going on. And along with that, we have the Milestone Rewards, which is pretty similar to the Season Pass for anyone that was looking at the Dragon Master Pass. And we have the Shrine Only section and the Non Shrine Only bonuses that you can get for this event. And this is depending on how many water stones you use. And we will go into water stones in a second because water stones are what you can get as part of the Dragon Dice event. So there's like 17 different events going on at the moment. But for example, this generator here, if you really want to buy it, it is on sale at the beginning of the event for three days. And in this, the sooner you buy the water stone shrine, the better because it starts generating event currency for you and it will generate for the entire month. So you get this that generates stuff, you get a cool decoration, and plus you get to unlock all of these bonus ancient, I guess, generator 
things. So, for example, at, let's say at 129,000, you'd get 10 dragon tickets, but if you have the generator bought, you'd also get a bonus 10 tickets, which isn't that impressive, but you also get bonus ancient tickets and things like that, but I'm probably not going to be buying it. So there is that. If you look in the bottom right hand section, it does show you every single dragon that's going to be coming out in a number of different events for the whole month. So we have dragons like Firestar, which is part of the uh, part of the milestone thing, isn't it? Yeah, he's part of the milestone rewards at 639,000. And then of course we've got the ancients, like we have Momotu, which is part of the milestone rewards as well. So, along with that, we have the dragon board. So if you played the Dragon Board event two weeks ago, which had the familiar dragon in it, this is pretty much exactly the same, except now we've got Ancients and new dragons available in it. So, as part of this Dragon Board, we have Momotu, which is some people's favorite dragon. We have the Yellow Crown Dragon, which is the new guy. He's 350 pieces to get him. We have Deep Light, which is part of Double Trouble and Spinefin, which you need 200 pieces to get him. So, main thing that I'll say before we even jump into this is that you can see that we have a number of quests, and it says collect water stones by performing these actions, and complete all six of these to unlock a bonus action and earn an additional 600 points. You should always try and get the 200 points for every single one of these quests here first so that you can unlock the bonus action because then you'll have to do stuff to complete the bonus action to get an additional 600. So rather than going straight into the board and spending all of your event currency straight away, you should go and get those that bonus quest right now. So we do also have offers at the moment. So we have Tree Bark, which has returned in a special 33 pound bundle. Where you can get him 150 tickets and 10,000 water stones, not worth 33 quid. Uh, we've also got a bunch of dungeon bundles, which I knew were going to come out because you know you're going to get tons of tickets out of the dungeon. So we're going to have lots and lots of bundles this month. But that is all of that. And of course, we have double trouble stuff going on where you have to finish off every single chapter. And at the end, that's how you get Deep Light. Genuinely, I don't think most people are actually going to get this Deep Light Dragon because of this. Because it's going to be completely RNG based. But, um... Best of luck is all I can really say about that. But anyway, that is all of that. If we go to the event screen, we've got loads of stuff going on. This is the Flying Feathers event. But let's just go ahead and finish off those quests that I was talking about. So we've got... Catching creatures, at least they're actually the correct image this time. Collecting all of our gold, we've done that. And then collecting food is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Harvest in another hour. And the hour food does work for collecting it, but if you want to put in six hour food just to keep you on the schedule with the event, that also works pretty well. Breeding dragons. I'm actually just going to, in one of our breeding dens, I'm going to start trying to breed for Scully. Obviously, that was not the breed that we wanted. So, because I've got two breeding dens, it's pretty good for me here. But, generally, I would recommend you breed something like War Dragons during the Dragon Board events. Because you can see right now that with that breed, we were not successful either in breeding Scully or fully depleting the breeding timer. Or the breeding quest, I should say. So, we're just going to breed together a fire... Unless the game breaks, like it always does every time I try and, uh, you know, click the breed button. Because this has been an ongoing issue with Windows DML for probably two and a half to three years now. And um, I fixed it for about a month. And now it just comes up all the time. So uh, thank you, DML. Shall we try a second time on that one? I don't like to showcase the bugs in this game. I'm not even trying. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to play the game. Um, but, like I said, we're going to get these quests done, then we're going to move on the Dragon Board. We'll hope for some good luck, because with the previous Dragon Board event, our luck was garbage. Trying to go for that familiar dragon. Again, if you want to be nice, you can be nice. 
we've got fire and metal. Seems to have actually worked this time. We can only get a war dragon, breed it, get duplicate. That gives us the bonus points that we need and we can come back in five hours and that will be done. So that is how we get those breeding points done, skis. Feeding dragons and winning battles. But obviously the best thing to do with feeding dragons is to hatch new baby dragons, put them down and then feed them up. I think I have baby dragons somewhere. I just don't know where. Here we go, we've got a jungle dragon. So just hatch new fire dragon baby eggs and then feed them up a little bit and then you don't have to waste your food. Best thing that you can do. And then winning battles. You can win any sort of battles that you want on heroic mode on the regular map. You can do arena battles. They also count. And if you've got any auto battle tickets like I do, you can use those and then you can easily clear off everything. But it seems like I have used up or I've already done all of my blue map battles on heroic mode so I'm just gonna go and do regular map battles now until we've done this. So it is pretty much the same as most events that we have in VML. So um, I mean all of the quests are the same as castle events and dragon dice events. So if you've ever seen any of those events it shouldn't be much of a surprise to you but that is the same thing except now you're gonna have to do it for an entire month. So, biggest, biggest tips I can give you for finishing off these events, even though this time everything is pretty much RNG based, so free to play players, I'm sorry, but I do not have high hopes that you'll be getting any of the Ancients out of this event, this time free to play, but for the lucky few, it is going to mainly come down to how frequently you're logging in and fully depleting those quests because realistically in ancient events you can't afford to miss that many resets in the whole month so say you're someone that tends to miss one reset a day with these events you're probably not gonna get anything valuable out of this event to be completely honest with you you could try and it's all just gonna be about dice rolling and how lucky you get but most people probably are not going to get anything valuable that is my preface to you today. So, those are all those quests now complete. And our first extra quest that we've been given says move 30 tiles in the Dragon Board event. And then we'll get a bonus 600 event currency. So let us go ahead and start with the board itself. So, we're going to roll dices and move along this map. Normally, I would recommend for everyone to try and focus on the purple tiles if they want to go for the ancient dragon although we do have breeding blitz events that I think are going to require the other dragons so um I don't know it's going to depend are you absolutely desperate for a motu in which case try and prioritize the purple tiles if not it is probably a good idea to work your way down unlike unlock spinefin first unlock yellow crown second and then Momotu third but then you might end up missing out on the Motu, but you probably will end up missing out anyway. So it's not really too much of an issue, to be honest. But other thing is, we actually do have a bingo that works every day this time. So this bingo will give you bonus water stones, aka event currency. It will give you pieces for the pipe dragon, which you need for a collection. And if you complete the whole bingo, you'll get some enchantment tickets and you will get a new bingo every single day. So you need to be hitting tiles based on the numbers away that you are. So for example, let's roll the dices now. So we hit a five and a four. So these are all blue tiles. So you can see that on the bingo, it shows over the five and over the four, it's sort of like shining. So say we jump on the four tile and then we jump on the five tile. And you can see those two numbers for those specific amount of tiles that we moved have now been dotted or completed, shall we say. So again, we're going to do that for the two on the purple. Again, that has counted it as us getting those numbers. So you're going to be wanting to complete this bingo every single day for the bonuses that it gives. And here is our first chest, five pieces for spine fin. Not bad. And final thing I also want to note is that with these dragons here, you need all these pieces, which are going to be mostly RNG, but each of these dragons will be unlocked automatically after a certain amount of chests opened. 
But the amount of chests you have to open is quite obscene, so most people probably will not have to worry about that because they're not going to hit that amount of chests opened free to play. But there we go, piece for yellow crown, wonderful. So now the, the hardest ones tend to be hitting the green tiles I've found in my experience, so I try and prioritise hitting the green tiles as much as I can. Plus in this instance, if we hit the green tile here, we're going to get a bonus purple key, which will allow us to open up a purple chest, which means that I'm going to re-roll one of these threes, but we also got our double trouble first battle unlocked, so we're going to go and take it on right now. So last Dragon Dice event, these enemies were pretty difficult to deal with, so I guess we will find out how tough they are. Um, I don't know why it tried to give me an Agave Dragon to use then. It's it's like, are you okay, game? Are you okay? I don't want to use an Agave Dragon, thanks. <laughs> um, you can also instant win battle these if you're struggling, but I'm just going to go with that. So welcome to the Endless Sea, Strange Ones. We don't usually see creatures like you anymore. How lucky for me. Uh, thank you, but that sounds pretty ominous. Did Kronos send me to the past again, or is that a whole other planet? What sounds ominous? Wait, Ned, are you actually talking to that dragon? Are ya? What are you doing here? Don't tell me you follow me to the past. I have to do something. You've been acting so weird, Ned. But this is on a whole other level. Well, kind, sure are talkative. I hear you're good at battling, though. I'd love to find out for myself. Oh, there we go. We've got this tropic dragon that apparently is just gonna chat to us for probably most of this event but I guess they are accounting for sigils in this because you can see that these enemies are like level 107 base which is much higher than they would have been before and why is his <laughs> did you did you see that look how come for only the tropic dragon is his hitbox so far behind him <laughs> okay maybe that's a bug um must be a bug with the, the new dragon itself because the pineapples obviously don't seem to be hit by that. That's quite a funny one. As long as it doesn't have a detrimental effect to event progress, I'm not going to complain. Now, if we run into any bugs that actually do negatively impact, we may have a different story on our hands. But either way, he's dead now. <laughs> now, let's ignore it for a little bit. Either way, that's the first double trouble battle. And for that, we get a divine ticket. Wonderful. So then for chapter two, we would need to get two doubles and then we can take on this fight. You can gem through all of these and just go fight now, fight now, but it does end up adding to quite a lot. So I usually don't recommend it. And so rather than me going to the next tile, as in hitting that three, I'm gonna re-roll the, the other one first because we might get a four or we might get a one. In which case, like I just got there, a 1, which means we're going to hit that green tile. So we hit the, the the epic one, and then we'll pick the purple key. Then we get a purple chest, we open it up, we get... Ooh, I love the ancient maps in this. That's another great thing about these purple chests, the fact that you're going to get tons of ancient materials. That is going to help out majorly. So we get that, and we get a single piece, Fort Momotu, which, considering there's 500 pieces, um gonna be a, a pain <laughs> saying it's gonna be a pain is probably an understatement but you know it is what it is so then for example here I'm gonna re-roll this one and see what we get a two wonderful the game is being kind to us for a change lovely lovely um I'm gonna go and just try and collect the epics here just because it seems easier and plus we can cancel off some of those bingos so there's another singular piece. Whenever you see singular pieces, it's always a little bit depressing. And this doesn't matter here. Either way, we're going to knock off that six. We get bonus 200. Lovely. See, I tend to keep the bingo board open just so I can sort of see what I'm working with. Although sometimes it's worth checking. Like here, I'd be like, what keys do I have? Okay, we need to hit this green tile next. So that's a five. I don't want the five. Um... But we can do that there. Lovely. So we're going to hit a three. We're going to hit that one. And then we're going to get a purple. Another purple. And that doesn't give us an ancient. But it does give us the highest grade that we can for energy. Which is also not too shabby. 
So that is the general idea behind the board. I will also note that when you hit a six, you do get double, as in an extra key. So sometimes it's worth looking at where the purple tiles are if you're going for them and planning six tiles away. So for example, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we were gonna be on this tile, then one, two, three, four, five. If we hit a six, then we'd get double purples on that one. Sometimes that is useful if you're only if you're not going to hit two purple tiles or you don't want to work on that RNG. There's different situations, essentially, is what I'm trying to say, to keep note of. Um, and again, some people will want to go for the Ancient. I didn't need to skip that, by the way. But some people might want to just go for the Rare and then the Epic so that they can take part in the Dragon Dice event. It is up to you for what, how you want to handle everything. But I hope that this gives you a sort of guidance on what you might want to go for. See here, we're not going to land six tiles away. Well, we could land on this one here. And then just making sure it is. So then we could re-roll this until we hit a six, for example. Which sometimes you might be sitting here for ages trying to hit the single re-roll that you want. Like, I have literally sat here re-rolling 30 plus times for one number because my re-roll RNG tends to be pretty bad. But we did get it that time. So then if we land on this, then we're going to hit the double purple keys. So now, either we can hit this next purple tile or we can just hit the starting tile and that will give us the purple that we need or the chest. So we got lucky and we got the three that we needed, which means we get another purple. And then when we go past the starting tile, we're going to get one of each different kind of chest. So we're going to open up each of these. We get another ancient and then a single piece for all three, which is pretty terrible luck. Hate it. And then it gives us three more free rerolls for a diocese. And then we go through the entire map using the exact same process again. So... That is, in essence, how this ancient event works. I do hope that all of this makes sense. With this amount of event currency left, genuinely, rather than continuing on with the board, what I would normally probably do is I would stop playing the event for now, wait until the next reset, get these quests done, and then go for the special bonus quest, and then spend all of it. But I always like to keep at least a little bit of the event currency because I've had it before where through exponential bad luck I've not been able to complete the bonus quest using the the amount of event currency I get from the quest for that time. So just keeping a little bit of a bonus has always worked for me. But before the end of today we do need to hit on the green tiles a 4, or a 5, a 6, a 2, and a 3, which is going to be a pain, and a 1 and a 5 on ancient tiles, and a 5 on the epic tiles. So we'll be keeping a lookout for all of this, getting a piece of Mr. Pipe. So, I hope that all makes sense. That is going to do us for the board for now. So, I know that it's a lot to take in if you've never seen one of these events before. But after you've done those quests, you can basically do your normal battles, whatever you want to do. But be very mindful of keeping your breeding den open, because you need to be doing that breeding quest. And if you're trying to go for the Dragon of the Month, you're not going to be able to do the breeding quest, and you're going to miss out on that bonus quest every time, and that is going to put you miles behind in the event. So, I normally suggest not going for the Dragon of the Month, but... If you need the Dragon of the Month still, you're probably not going to have a choice. So, probably safer that you do it right now at the beginning of the event, instead of during the other events that are going to be coming out this month. Because remember, we've got the Bottomless Dungeon as our special Divine Tickety event for this week. But we are going to have different events coming through the month that are going to give bonus Divine Tickets, which will allow you to open up those ancient chess. Anyway, I feel like I have been talking for a long time, so keep your eyes out for the new events, but definitely be grinding out that dungeon, and definitely be 
trying to tackle the dragon board in the smartest way that you can because this is not going to be a kind event most free to play players probably aren't going to get a lot out of it but that is why I'm going to wish you the very best of luck with getting your doubles with getting your pieces for Momotu and all of the other ancients so um good 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 good, good luck to you whether you buy the generator or not try your best I suppose so for now Take care, and until next time, I do hope that I will see you then.